The question says, the Venn diagram shows the number of learners who took at least one of the three subjects, biology, chemistry, and physics. So this is the Venn diagram. The first question says, given that the total number of learners was 170, calculate the value of x. So they want you to find the value of x. Okay, so for us to find the value of x, we are going to form an equation. So we will add all the elements because they are saying that given that the total number of students or learners was 170. So we are going to add all the learners and equate them to 170. So meaning we are going to have... So you need to be careful when you are adding, more especially when you have three sets. So first of all, let's add these that are, uh, that are not on the intersection so that we don't make mistakes. So we are going to have x plus 10 plus x minus 5. So we are done with this. Now we can add these that are in this intersection. Okay, so we have plus 5, plus 70, plus 15. So we are remaining with this plus x. This should equal to should equal to 170. That's the information that we've been given. So here we collect like terms together. We have x plus x plus x. We have 3x. Then when you add 10 minus 5 plus 5 plus 70 plus 15, we get positive 95. should be equal to 170. So we are going to have 3x is equal to 170 minus 95. And this gives 3x is equal to 75. To get the value of x, divide both sides of this equation by 3. Then x is equal to 25. So this is the value of x. So meaning everywhere where there is x, you replace a 25. So here if we say 25 minus 5, uh, we are going to remain with 20. So cancel this. Then here, let's cancel this and put uh, 25 because x is 25. Even here, let's cancel this and put 25. But B says how many learners took? A, biology and physics but not chemistry so they want you to find the total number of learners that that took biology and physics but not chemistry so in other words they want you to find the union of set biology and set physics intersect chemistry complement in other words we remove all the elements that are in set chemistry. So we are just going to add, which means we are going to add 25 plus 15 plus 20. Okay, so we are going to say A at A, we are going to add 25 plus 15 plus 20. So 25 plus 15 plus 20. And this gives 60. So you conclude and say, therefore, 60 learners took biology and physics, but not chemistry. B, how many learners took two subjects only? So in other words, they want you to find the number of students that only took two subjects which means those students that are on the intersection of the two subjects. For example, you have biology and chemistry, so the intersection of biology and chemistry is 5. So we are going to say 5, so this is B, 5 plus 
Again, when you look at chemistry and physics, uh, this is the intersection of chemistry and physics. Okay, so I mean you're going to also add a 25. Okay, then plus, when you look at biology and the physics, the intersection is 15. So you're going to add a 15. So when you add this, you're going to have 45. So you conclude and say, therefore, 45 students took two subjects only. Then part C, they are saying, how many learners took one subject only? So one subject only, it means they want you to find the learners that were not on the intersection. So meaning we are going to pick this, that, and that. So 25 plus 10 plus 20. Okay. So 25 This is C, 25 plus 10 plus 20. Okay, these that are outside the intersection, 25 plus, two, 25 plus 10 plus 20. And this gives 55. So you conclude and say, therefore, uh, 55 learners took one subject only. Right, if you are watching up to this point, it means you are enjoying what I'm doing. Please consider subscribing, comment, hit the, hit the like button and share. Also, if you want to learn how to graph cubic functions and how to solve equations using a graph of cubic functions, just click on the video that is showing on the link on the screen right now.